This suit is Jim Irwin's suit. He was the lunar module pilot for Apollo 15. And if you look at the suit closely, it looks a little bit more like Gene Cernan's suit than Neil Armstrong's. It was one of the first suits to use the lunar rover, so the astronauts had to sit, and I explained that they redesigned the suit to fit the rover. So his suit has that radial zipper that goes down the side. The major difference that you'll see between his and Gene Cernan's is that he doesn't have commander stripes. He wasn't a commander, he was the lunar module pilot. So he was the second man to step foot onto the surface of the moon for the Apollo 15 mission. Okay, and Lisa, we've got some dirt and some magnifying glasses and some gloves here. What does that have to do with a spacesuit that walked on the moon? So on many of the suits that came back from the moon, you're going to see dirt on the surfaces, uh, the lunar dust. And the lunar dust is uh, made up of different particles, just like soil is. And if you've studied soil in science, you know there can be different minerals in that material. And so the lunar dust happens to be made up of six different types of minerals that are very sharp and angular. So they embed themselves into the spacesuit material and we can't get the lunar dust to come out. So even though it looks like it's on the surface and it's gonna fall right off, it's really just embedded into those suit materials. You're gonna see how even though if you get dust embedded into your materials or fabrics that it is difficult to get it off and what that looks like under the microscope. All right, so a couple of you have gloves. Go ahead and put those gloves on. And what we want you to do is we want you to reach in and dig down into that dirt, really get some of that dirt embedded into the fibers of those gloves. So go ahead and reach in there, get a little dirty. Really squeeze it around. Act like you're picking up a moon rock. All right, now kind of shake the dust off of it a little bit and then take a look at it with your friends there and look at what we're seeing. All right, so what are we seeing? I can tell that it has gotten in between the fabric strands. Yeah. Really embedded in there. Like um, turns the fire, it like turns the fabric black. Did it? Yeah. 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 So it stains the surfaces a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you rub like two of your fingers together and really get it into the fabric, you'll see that it works its way its way right into those fibers, and it's really difficult to get then get out. So as a conservator, playing in the dirt is actually a really good thing to learn about how stuff gets into fabrics. Right, and then actually, um, once we play in the dirt, we actually use different types of cleaning methods. Um, can you think of something that we could use to clean the dirt off your gloves? Wash it with soap. Okay, but what if the soap was really harmful to your artifact and you couldn't use any soap? What would you use? A uh, vacuum. Right, so some of the dry methods we use. So we wanna lift the dirt off without rubbing it. So when you rub something with soap or water, uh, sometimes that doesn't always work with artifacts because you want to pull the dirt off of the surface instead of working it back in. But the one thing we like to do is test. So we're going to do exactly what you do when we come to an artifact. We're going to dirty something. We're going to mock up something that's similar to what we have in our lab. Because the first thing you want to do when you clean a spacesuit is not have it be Neil Armstrong's spacesuit because if you mess up, you're going to be in really big trouble. So we got to make an experiment and then we're going to work different ways to clean off that dirt till we find the one that's the safest for our artifact.